And good evening, everybody. You are looking live again, once again, with Bear River Live for some Bear River Suckers. We're just barely getting this one underway. And that was kickoff that goes to Logan Pond. He'll kick it back the other way. We'd like to thank you for joining us. We'd like to thank our sponsors as well. As this gets cleared out, we'll start our clock. Again, this is an estimated time. He goes out. Well, we'll have a penalty. Going against the Ridgeline Riverhawks. Again, we'd like to thank you for joining us. It is a red out game here tonight. Bear wearing their red, as well as the fans getting a free t shirt. This is a makeup game. We're supposed to play it yesterday, but we got quite a bit of rain. It's not too often you cancel soccer. Field's still a little wet as there's a shot. And that misses. So we'll have a goal kick here from Ridgeline. Pushes it ahead, but then taken away. And they get it right back. Here's a shot. A long shot that goes up and over the goal. And after a couple substitutions, we'll get right back at it again. We'd like to thank you for joining us and I'd like to thank our sponsors as well. Oh, Logan Pond kicks it away. Gets it centered over to Windmiller. Windmiller fights through the defense there. Fernando again with it. Tries to work it back to him and taken away by Ridgeline. It goes out. It'll be a throw in for the Riverhawks. Last time these two teams met, Ridgeline got the win. A couple more substitutions come in for Ridgeline. Cleared out by Emilio. Rolls out. Emilio Mendoza throws it quickly in for the Bears on that far side. Kicked ahead. Ball still in play. And this time it goes out. So we'll have a throw in for Bear River. They do a quick. Trying to keep an upbeat tempo. Fast tempo. This one's headed out by Ridgeline. Kick back, it rolls out. We'll have Riverhawks throw in on the far side about in front of the Bear River bench. Again, another quick throw in here for Ridgeline.
And another throw in here for the Riverhawks. And now we'll have a goal kick as it goes off the Riverhawk defender. a good move to get a pass midfield. They're still with it on the far side. Gets tripped up. Goes out. It'll set up a corner kick here for the Bears. First one of the game for either team. This one kicked up and over everybody's head and out of bounds. It's another goal kick here for Ridgeline. It's going to go against the River Ox. Bear River will have the possession. Emilio lines up, kicks it off. Scooped up by the goalie. take out their own player. Working it out of the crowd. Here comes the Riverhawks past midfield. Another good clear out there by the Bears. They roll it all the way to Ridge Lions keeper as he boots this one away. Bears going to head on it. One Miller with it. Kicks it ahead to Fernando who misses wide left. Set up good, just went too far to the left. Bears getting a couple good shots on goal here in the first half of this one. I'd like to thank Crump Reese and Motors there donating $50 to every home soccer goal. Hopefully we get a little bit more money in the pot here today. Rocks on the attack, and I tell you, this field is still slippery from all the rain from yesterday. And there's a takedown. Penalty goes against the Riverhawks, and Windmiller is slow to get up. And he does. Bears will have the possession. rolls out and we're going to have some substitutions for both teams. We'll have a throw in on this near side by Ridgeline. Throw and he breaks through the double team. Here's a kick and up and over the goal. Another good save. 
there by Logan Pond. Set up a corner kick here for Ridgeline there first. Take a look at that replay. Good luck by Pond. Help from Emilio Mendoza. Here's the corner kick from Ridgeline. It's low. Back goes out of bounds. It'll have a throw in by the River Rocks at about midfield. They get it centered and then kicked out. Originally still on the attack, but there's a good clear out. Bridgeline heads it back. Goes away. Here comes the Bears on the says it from going out. But Ridgeline will clear it out after that. Miller clears it out to the far side. Now Garrett Goring with it. He drops it back to Butters. Butters kicks it ahead. Ridgeline heads it back and cleared out. Ridgeline finally gets it past midfield. That's the head. Here's a shot, but a good block by Logan Pond, who can recover. But that'll set up another corner kick. Yeah, another good save here by Logan Pond. That's of a corner kick though. A kick is another low one. The Bears working it back down the field. Fernando, there's a whistle. It's going to go against the Riverhawks as you saw him hold him there. And a quick kick. Over to the far side, can't handle the pass, it goes out, it'll be a Riverhawks throw in. Another throw in here for the Riverhawks. across midfield. Can't catch up to that pass, but kicked out by Ridgeline. It'll be a throw in for the Bear River Bears on the far side. Some more substitutions come in. Bears drop it back. Butters kicks it ahead. And 
the keeper for the River High, so lands on that one. Another scoop up there by the keeper of Ridgeline. too far ahead goes out it'll be a river hawks throw in and it'll be a bear river throw in And offside's call will be against the Bears, so Riverhawks will have the possession. Staying with it. Here's Fernando. It takes a shot, but that's blocked. Windmiller now with it. He kicks it out. Kicked up and out. It was blocked out, so we will set up a corner kick here for the Bear River. Corner kick is away, but grabbed by Ridgeline's keeper. And everybody's still sliding around here on this wet field. Shot blocked away. Boy Miller drops it back out. Two putters. Christian Jean pops it up and can't get a head on it as it'll roll out. And they're going to say goal kick here for Ridgeline. A couple more substitutions. We'll have a goal kick here by Ridgeline. And then taken away by Windmiller. Pushes it ahead to Goring. Goring kicks it right back out with near side. And back to Goring. Centers it back up to Windmiller. Pops it up and wide right. Other games going on. You got Lady Bear softball. They're at Grantsville. Baseball taking the day off of one more day for their field to dry. They'll play Skyview tomorrow. Cleared out Ridgeline still has it. And now it's cleared out by the Bears, but still Ridgeline on the attack. And kicked out, it'll be a throw in for the Bear River Bears. Last touch by Ridgeline. Bear 
Gets thrown in on the far side. Woodmiller fighting off two defenders. Drops it back to Emilio who kicks it ahead. Can't handle that pass. It goes out of bounds. Ridgeline to throw it in at about midfield. Picked up, headed over, cleared out by the Bears. Well, they throw in on that far side. Cleared out again. We'll have another throw in here by Ridgeline. it over at Bear River with possession and time. He's going to clear it out to center but taken away by Ridgeline. <laughs> Gary Goring working it down the sideline into the, the field. Tries to center it back up. They're still with it. Back to Goring. And taken away by Ridgeline. And we're going to back to this side of the field. And then broken up again by the Bears defense. to Logan Pond. And cleared out by Ridgeline. We'll have a throw in by the Bears on this near side. Throw in here by the Bears after a couple substitutions. Kicked ahead, originally still on the tack. Just outside the goal box, get taken away by Butters. Ahead. It's a foot race. Ridgeline's going to get there first. As he clears it out to the uh, near side. We'll have a throw in here by Ridgeline. After more substitutions come in. Kicked ahead as Logan Pond comes out and kicks this one out of bounds. So we'll have a throw in here for the River Hawks. Kicked up high, Logan Pond chases it down. whistle and that's going to go against Ridgeline 
quick pass from Fernando here to this near side. Slide kicked out by Ridgeline. It'll be a better throw in. And ripped in like that one, so it'll be Ridgeline to throw it in. It'll go to the Bears now. After that pass lands out of bounds. Or the throw in, excuse me. So they'll get to throw it in where the ridge line player threw it in. Picked up and deflected out by Ridgeline. That'll set up a corner kick here for the Bears. This time on the far side. And headed out again by Ridgeline. So we'll set up a corner kick here on this near side now. Bears going to set up, kicks away. Whistles set up a goal kick here for Ridgeline. Attack it, trying to chase it down on that far side. It's not going to get there. Ridge line to throw it in now. Kicked ahead, and Ridge line with a good save gets it over to that far side. Nobody there. Jackson Butters pushes it ahead. Goes out, here's a throw in from Tackett. And off, and off the Bears, throw in for Ridgeline right in front of their own bench. Headed out again by the Bears, another throw in. Pushes it up, but the Bears gets a pass midfield. And cleared out by Ridgeline, kicked out. Bears to throw it in. Throwing here for the Bears. After a few substitutions come in, can't quite get a head on it. So that'll set up a corner, another corner kick here for the Bears. Kick is up and goes out. Another goal kick here for Ridgeline. There's a bridge coming out of the south. Pretty stiff one. Says it's supposed to be seven to eight miles an hour. And a 
whistle against the Bears. Ridgeline to keep the possession. Mendoza sends it back. And out throw in right in front of Ridgeline's bench. The Bears again with a good defense, breaking that up. Third back, here's a shot that rolls out of bounds. It was deflected by Ridgeline, so that'll set up another corner kick here for the Bears. There's a lot of corner kicks here in the first half. Haven't been able to capitalize any yet. Kick is away and cleared out by Ridgeline. Line trying to find some wiggle room here in this defense. Tackett pushes it ahead to Butters. Butters gets it to a midfield, and the Riverhawks take it away. Ridgeline again kicks it up high. slides in there and gathers that one up and a quick throw. Gotta keep it going and Windmiller with it. Kicks it ahead. Richline kicks it right back. Fernando pushing it up. Leads it out to Goring. Goring back to Windmiller. Back to Goring now. As he falls down, cleared out by a ridge line. So for the Bears, we'll have a corner kick once again here on this near side. Another one sells out of bounds. Goal kick here for Ridgeline. Substitutions come in for both teams as this one's kicked away and we're back into plays. Fernando heads this one back, Goring with it. Pops it up, hit back. Another header by Ridgeline. Now controlled by Garrett as this one is kicked out of bounds. 
deflected off Ridgeline's player. Going to throw it in here for the Bears. And they're going to call a penalty against Bear River. It'll be Ridgeline's possession. Be able to get set up. Here's a kick. Headed from Fran Fernando. Who gets a whistle call on him. There's a quick kick here by Ridgeline. Emilio pushes it ahead. And Caroni can't beat the ball there to the goalie. Ridgeline's keeper kicks this one away. And headed out, it'll be a throw in here for a ridge line. We have another substitution coming in for the River Hawks. Windmiller pushes it ahead. Wilcox with the kick sent back to him. Line with it here on this near side. Here's a shot that goes out of bounds. Logan Pond to go kick it away here for Bear River. Miller fighting off defenders. There's a kick ahead by the Bears. Cleared out by Ridgeline. <laughs> Fernando with it there on the uh, near side. This is it through the defense. But again, cleared out by the Riverhawks. Kick out again this time. A River Rocks to throw it in at about midfield. Good pass over to Emilio. They're still with it. Kicked out, centered up, here comes Ridgeline. And there's a whistle and there is time here in the first half of this one. Still scoreless. 
But a good showing here by the both Bears and Riverhawks. Getting a lot more shots on in the Bears' favor. We're going to thank our sponsors right now, and when we come back, we'll have the second half for you. So please, don't go anywhere. Crump Reese Motor Company in Tremonton offers everyday low competitive prices on Chevrolet, GMC, Buick, and Cadillac. Stop by to see their selection of highly sought after new and used vehicles. You will be greeted with a smile by one of their knowledgeable sales representatives. A friendly financial rep can guide you through the purchasing options and help you get a deal that's right for you. Whether buying or just browsing, you are always guaranteed fast and friendly service. Crump Reese is also a proud sponsor of your Bear Ever Bears. This season, they are donating $50 for every goal scored by the Bears at home. Crump Reese Motor Company, different in a good way. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. For a genuinely warm welcome with small town friendly service, stop by The Grill. They have slowly smoked ribs, wings, and briskets, along with homemade appetizers, unique sandwiches, pizzas, and burgers. They also have tasty desserts. The Grill is the perfect location for family get-togethers or business lunches. If you'd rather, they can cater an event for you. For some added fun, call the Bowling Center and reserve a lane. Mondays are family night or swing by on $2 Tuesdays. If you like cosmic bowling, stop by on Fridays and Saturdays. No matter what you like, the grill has something for everyone. Stop by Tori's Trends on Main Street for designer products at a hometown price. The Pie Dump at Bar TL Catering is a proud sponsor of the Bear River Bears. Owners Mac and Cherie Munns have been in business for 35 years. They have a full breakfast menu, yummy options for lunch, as well as a student menu. Come taste deliciousness with the best donuts in town and their famous hot rolls and gravy. If you're new, they'll treat you to the rip and dip experience. Ran out the Pie Dump's back room for a work lunch or family dinner. They'll leave and cater. Call 435-257-3947 for more information today. End your Easter hunt and hop into Tori's Trends to fill your basket with the bunny's favorites. Looking for that last minute Easter dress or maybe just accessories? Be sure to mention Bear River Live and save 10% on your entire purchase, including the new $20 trucker caps. Andy Marchant Photography specializes in portraits, family pictures, bridals, and engagements. He also takes thousands of photos of Bear River Sports, allowing you to sit back and enjoy the game while he captures all the action. Check out his website, andymarchant.com, or follow him on Instagram. Let him help you preserve your memories at a great price. For pizza? Come to the grill and build your own or try any of their specially made pizzas with flavors for the whole family. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. For life's everyday emergencies, there's Intermountain Instacare. For stuff that's more serious, there's the ER. Intermountain Healthcare, healing for life. I figured at 21 years old, I had the world figured out. Then life got real, I had to figure out 
what to do to provide for my family. She kept throwing out this idea of going back to school, <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm too old to go back to school. <laughs> but you have a campus right here in town that's a mile away. It made it a lot easier. Everything was in the evening and worked around my schedule. I still had a family to take care of and I had some good professors. It was nice to have them understand that and then present their class in a way that recognized it and made it fun to learn again. I'm so proud. I'm proud that he stuck it out. There's many times where he asked me, why am I doing this? But there's a reason and it's changed our world. For all your embroidery and screen printing needs, whether for business or just for fun, stop by Cover Up in Tremont or Brigham at Cover Up, yeah, we can do that. Welcome back here for the second half. About to get underway in a scoreless ball game. Here against Bear River and Ridgeline. We thank you for joining us. And of course our sponsors. It is Red out here. Bear River High School. Soccer team wearing their red jerseys. Fans wearing red shirts. Thanks to a part of Cover Up. Called the Banker. Academy Mortgage, an American secure title. And we are underway here in the second half. A lot of corner kicks here in the first half went the Bears' way, but couldn't capitalize on them. Gonna win coming. Blowing from left to right here on your broadcast as this one's kicked over to the far side, cleared out by Ridgeline. It'll be a bear of a throw in there on the far side. There's a shot on goal, scooped up by the keeper of Ridgeline. He's been doing a good job today here for the Riverhawks. After it gets headed around, it's pushed ahead by Ridgeline, kicked out. It'll have a throw in on the near side right in front of the crowd for Bear River. This one headed back for Fernando with it now. 
That's the push it ahead to Goring, and there's the whistle. As Goring's a little slow to get up. Well, will take a look at the shot that Goring took. Looks to be straight on here with the goal. Referee will step him off. Mendoza doesn't take it. Shot down and a good block, but a follow can't get there. So there's like another good stop by Ridgeline's keeper. Headed on by the Bears. But collected by Ridgeline. They try to work it down on that far side as it goes out. So it'll throw in here for the Bears. Make it a quick one into Windmiller. Poked away by Ridgeline. Kicked back out by the Bears. Riverhawks. Still trying to work it in there in this hard and bare defense. Fernando sends it up. Windmiller falls down. Again, this field still slick from all the rain we got yesterday. Game canceled. It was supposed to happen yesterday. Pass cross field. Dean collects it. Pass can't get back to him as it's cleared out by a ridge line. Backed out to midfield, now kicked ahead. Cleared out again by the Bears. Pass goes wide. Center back up, coming out of nowhere, is up and over the goal. That was a shot by Ridgeline. So Logan Paul to kick this one away for the Bears. comes in that pass taken away going right down center of the field and another good stop here by the Bears defense the head and another clear out by the Bears it rolls out it'll be a throw in here for the Riverhawks on the far side first line with it in the corner tries to sneak it in through the through the defense but the Bears not having it as they come away with this one. And as soon as I say that, it's taken right back by the Riverhawks. Pass a little too far. We did save it over there in the corner. Kicked out. Throw in here for Bear River. Fernando bringing it up for the Bears. There's a kick and a good block. 
by Ridgeline's keeper. And a penalty going against Ridgeline on that header. Bears will have the possession at about midfield. Bears still with an up tempo. Play in this one. Windmiller now with it. Kicks over to Fernando. Fernando slips. Still controls the ball. Kicks it over there to the far side. And this kick it goes out of bounds. It'll be a throw in here for Ridgeline after a couple substitutions come in for both teams. And there's a throw in for the River Hawks. Kick back, yeah, this time it'll be Bear River to throw it in. Kicked ahead past everybody as Ridgeline kicks it back to the very side of the field. And cleared out and it rolls out. Throw in goes to Ridgeline. Headed back out. Ridgeline set up, threw it in again. Another good stop by Logan Pond. Fighting for it in the crowd, drops a back kick to head. Can't handle it. Bear over to throw it in on this near side. Dean gets it in to Fernando. And over to Windmiller. Windmiller's kick gets a blocked and then kicked out. Throw in to Bear River on the far side. And scooped up by Ridge Lions keeper. Ahead, headed back the other way. And now cleared out. Well, let me throw in by the River Hawks after a couple substitutions. Come in for both teams. Clear it out to this near side with Dean. He kicks it ahead. There's going to pass midfield, but then Ridgeline takes it away. Stops momentum. Windmiller now trying to get it back, and there's going to be a penalty called on Ridgeline. Take a look at that one as... 
yellow car is going to be given to Ridge Line. Ridge Line number 12 gets the yellow card. He'll check out of the game. Emilio Mendoza looks like he's going to get us back started here for the Bears. Kicked ahead, headers up and over the goal. So we'll have a goal kick from Ridgeline. Kicked ahead and out. It'll be last touch by Ridgeline. Here's a quick throw in here by the Bears. Miller with a good save. There's a good pass back to him and taken away here by Ridgeline. Pass back to Dean. Dean lines up, takes a shot, and it misses. Again, he's kicking against the wind as it goes out, and it'll be. Ridgeline's throwing there on the far side. Some more substitutions coming in for both teams. Line pushes it across midfield. Centers is up. Here's a shot. Wide right. Goal kick here for the Bears. Still scoreless here in the second half. We do appreciate you checking in. Miller kicks it across midfield here for the Bears. Goring slows it down. His shot gets kicked, blocked back. They're still with it here on this near side. There's a good move. And there's going to be another whistle against Ridgeline. Jose Arguin fighting pretty good here today for the Bears. And Jose will kick it in. Cleared out by Ridgeline. It's out. We'll have a throw in by Bear River right in front of their bench. Pass taken away here by the Bears. Crosses it. Cross midfield. A 
Her shot against the wind goes out of bounds. Sets up another goal kick here for Ridgeline. Brock's going to get set up. There's a kick. Cleared out. And we'll have a throw in here by Ridgeline. Ridgeline's still working it. Tries to get to the middle. And up and over the goal goes that kick. Look upon. We'll kick this one away here for the Bears. defense clears it out again pushes it across midfield and ridge lines get a kick it out so we'll have a throw in here for Bear River Braxton Butters to throw it in here for Bear River Pass back to him, but it's taken away. Pass the head. Braxton Butters, there's a shot up and over the goal. Good defense for Butters. He was our last Tories trendsetter of the game that we covered against Mountain Crest in that loss. Logan Pond kicks it away. Fernando with the defense closing in on him gets it taken away. And the ball's still alive and cleared out by Ridgeline. As you got Bear River, there's a bear still down on the field. So we'll take a look at the replay here. Another opportunity missed by the Bears. As well, the trainer. Come out and look at the player down. While they attend to him, we'll take a commercial break. Or we can look at the standings. So in Region 12, this is how they stack up, and I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of change. Skyview getting the win against... Mountain Crest and Logan, so that's gonna that's gonna propel them to first and probably keep them there. Cole Crony was your injured bear. He's up and walking now. See the bear's still scoreless in region twelve. Looks like we will miss out on the tournament, but we could play spoiler for Ridgeline because they still have a chance of getting into the fourth and final spot here in the region. And there's a throw in. Get us playing again. Get 
Kicked out, have a throw in here for Bear River. Some more substitutions coming in for the Bears. Windmiller takes it away. Kicked ahead, there's a shot wide left. Send it back, but nobody can get back to it. Cleared out by Ridgeline. Sets up a bear over throw in there on the far side. There's a good header by Butters. Bear's still with it. for them to capitalize. Chipped out. It'll be a throw in here for the Riverhawks. Line drops it back. Here's a setup and a good header. Getting it out of there again by the Bears defense, pushing it ahead across midfield. There's another deep kick by the River Hawks. And there's going to be a penalty, another one against Ridgeline. Bears will have the possession. Still looking for the first goal in this game by either team. Hoping for another goal from the Bears. So Crumps can put another $50 in the pot. This one goes out. It'll be a throw in again by Bear River. Fernando comes in to throw this one in for the Bears. Get us back playing. There's a good move. Kicks it down the line. Scooped up by Ridgeline's keeper. He waits for everybody to clear out before he kicks this one away. A couple good headers from Ridgeline. Gets it to Logan Pond. Throw in for Bears on the far side. Ridgeline again taps it out. Bear working it up along the sideline.
And there's a good steal. Kicked ahead past midfield, headed back. Ridgeline gets it across again. On the attack, kicked ahead. Soft kick goes to Logan Pawn, who scoops it up. And this one's out. I have another throw in this time by Ridgeline in front of the Bear River bench. Emilio kicks this one out. We'll have a corner kick here for Ridgeline. First one for them here in the second half. Another low kick by a ridge line for the corner kick as this one rolls out of bounds. It'll be a throw in here for Riverhawks. They throw a quick one in. Still on the far side. Kicked out again. And ridge line will throw it in about the same spot they just did. by Windmiller. Pushes it ahead and falls down right at midfield, taken away by Ridgeline. Again, the Bears defense, breaking it up. There's a whistle going against the Bears. So there's an opportunity for Ridgeline to break this tie here in the second half. Here's a kick and chipped in by Ridgeline. First goal of the game goes to Ridgeline. He's coming up from that back side. Logan Pond didn't see him coming. Mendoza steals it away. Kicks it ahead. You see Cole Crony there back in the game. Crony with it. Passes it ahead. Wilcox in the corner. And cleared out by Ridgeline. Fernando back with it. Cleared out by Ridgeline. Throw in here for Bear River. And a penalty going against the Bears. Ridge line will have the possession. Going 
kicks it to the far side. And a last touch by a ridge line. Rock, or Bears will have the throw in after substitution. Bear River to throw it in. They're on the far side. And now reaching everybody is Ridgeline's goalkeeper. Throwing away out here, or thrown to the near side where nobody was. Ridgeline working up the field easily. But again, your Bears defense is taking a right back away. Kicked ahead, Logan Pond scoops this one up. Now over to this near side with it. Kicked it right to Logan Pond, he'll kick this one away. Kicked out by Ridgeline, throw into Bet River. Porter Tackett doing the honors on the far side of the field. It's over there. And kicked out. Ridge line to throw it in in front of their bench after a couple substitutions. Butters clears it out. Ridge line heads it back the other way. Another throw in at about midfield here for the Riverhawks. They lead now 1 0. Cole Crony with it there on the far side. Tries to move it over here to Kale. Can't quite make it to him as it's broken up again by Ridgeline. Bears doing a good job on defense. Kicked out. It'll be better to throw it in here on this near side. Thrown in and kicked right back out by Ridgeline. To throw in. Wayne Miller backs it back out. And out of bounds. Berber will throw it in again. And we have a whistle. I'm 
Not sure the call, but it's going to go in Bear River's favor. And a yellow card is going to go to the number 18 of Ridgeline. So just outside the goal box now, Bear River has a possession. Emilio Mendoza. Looks like he's the one going to be taking the shot. Good opportunity now for the Bears. There's a whistle kicked up against the wind. Kick back in, and there's a goal for your Bear River Bears. Mendoza hits it over. So you had a, you had a kick from Emilio. Kicked up, headed, I think, by Windmiller and then knocked in by Garrett Goring. There's your $50 there to tie this game up. Thank you, Crump Recent Motors. Second half now, still underway. Now we're back tied, this time a one. Bear River again on the attack. Porter Tackett pops this one up and gathered up by Ridgeline's goalie. This one cleared out, headed back the other way now. Kicked over and a Logan Pond to kick this one away. There's a pass ahead, and Ridgeline's keeper just going to come scoop this one up. Let's everybody clear out. And a good header by the Bears. Goring again. We're going to over to this near side. Going to center it up, but blocked away by Ridgeline. Kick high and out. So some more substitutions come in. We've hit the 80 minute mark here in this one. You did have a couple penalties and you had that injury. So we'll see how much longer the ref wants this one to go. They're still tied 1-1. One, one. Bridge line on the attack and Logan Pond scoops this one up. Can't gather that one up. It'll be Ridge line throw in. Emilio moving it up the field for the Bears. Kicked out to Dean on that far side and kicked away by Ridgeline. And 
and as it goes out in the crowd, it'll be Ridgeline to throw it in. The foot race, Fernando kicks it away. And they're throwing here for Ridgeline. Substitutions come in for both Ridgeline and Bear River. Fernando limps off the field. Here's a throw in by Ridgeline. And headed away by the Bears defense. Ridgeline still with the possession. Finally cleared out by the Bears. Bridge line heads it a midfield. Back the other way. Emilio again with a stop. And Logan Pond with a good stop. And there's the end of the uh, second half. We're still tied here at one at Bear River. We're gonna say thanks to a couple of our sponsors and then we'll be right back. Whether it's drinks or treats, get your fix at Soda Fix. for pizza? Come to the grill and build your own or try any of their specially made pizzas with flavors for the whole family. Caldwell Banker has a team of dedicated professionals who handle the complex process and make sure things run smoothly. Save time and money with Caldwell Banker. For life's everyday emergencies, there's Intermountain Instacare. For stuff that's more serious, there's the ER. Intermountain Healthcare, healing for life. These girls behind me, they are actually my club volleyball team. Besides my family, they're one of the main reasons that I decided to go back to school. A lot of the girls would come to me and talk to me about some of the issues they were having at home or at school. And that's kind of when I decided I wanted to go back and further my education in psychology and become a high school counselor. My name is Megan Cooper and I'm an Aggie. End your Easter hunt and hop into Tori's Trends to fill your basket with the bunny's favorites. Looking for that last minute Easter dress or maybe just accessories? Be sure to mention Bear River Live and save 10% on your entire purchase, including the new $20 trucker caps. The Pie Dump at Bar TL Catering is a proud sponsor of the Bear River Bears. Owners Mac and Cherie Munns have been in business for 35 years. They have a full breakfast menu, yummy options for lunch, as well as a student menu. Come taste deliciousness with the best donuts in town and their famous hot rolls and gravy. 
If you're new, they'll treat you to the rip and dip experience. Ran out the Pie Dubs back room for a work lunch or family dinner. They'll leave and cater. Call 435-257-3947 for more information today. Crump Reese Motor Company in Tremonton offers everyday low competitive prices on Chevrolet, GMC, Buick, and Cadillac. Stop by to see their selection of highly sought after new and used vehicles. You will be greeted with a smile by one of their knowledgeable sales representatives. A friendly financial rep can guide you through the purchasing options and help you get a deal that's right for you. Whether buying or just browsing, you are always guaranteed fast and friendly service. Crump Reese is also a proud sponsor of your Bear River Bears. This season, they are donating $50 for every goal scored by the Bears at home. Crump Reese Motor Company, different in a good way. And we'll go back. We'd like to thank Crump Reese Motors. Bears got 50 bucks today for their goal. Tying it up and taking it into overtime. Here against a ridge line. Again, ridge line still has a chance to get into fourth place. The Bears. The Bears can hold on and beat them in this one. That'll be knocking the wind out of them. Three more games after this one. The Bears take on the top three teams in the region. Logan, Skyview, and Mountain Crest. Goring with it. Passes ahead of Windmiller. And kicked out by Mendoza. It'll be a throw in here for Ridgeline. Throw in here for the River Hawks. Wilcox has it going to work it around to this near side. Can't save it. It'll be a ridge line to throw in. In amongst the crowd. This one headed out. Bears to throw it in now. Windmiller has it for the Bears. Kicks it ahead to Gorin. And that goes out. Throw in for the Riverhawks after a substitution by Ridgeline. And a throw in here to the Bears. Pass doesn't go far enough. It goes out of bounds. Ridge line to throw it in. Kicked out. Bears to throw it in on the near side. Ruin gets it in. But then cleared out by Ridgeline. Sent back by the Bears. Wood Miller. Kicks it up. Kicks it high and far. 
and can't save it before rolling out. Ridgeline to throw it in over there on the far side. Another kick out by the Bears. And a whistle going against the Bear River. Did go out at about midfield. So another throw in here for Ridgeline. So he clears it out, kicked back in by Ridgeline. Now Wilcox with it, going to bring it up this near side. Sent right back here by Ridgeline. And this one sails out of bounds. Throw in for Ridgeline here in front of the crowd. Throw in going to Ridgeline. Checks it back to uh, Mendoza, kicks it ahead. Jose drops it back. Now over to Windmiller. And this kick blocked away. And Gorn shot. You're gonna miss as well. Now there's whistles as there's a bearer still down. Is uh, Jose is grabbing his ankle. Jose quick to get up, he'll walk this one off. As he clears the field, Ridgeline will have the kick. Sent back and forth. And finally, Gorney gathers it, kicked ahead, and caught by Ridgeline's goalie. Again, both goalies doing a great job today. Ridgeline to throw it in in front of their bench.
headed up and over. We'll have a goal kick here for Bear River. Shot goes wide left. Another goal kick. After a couple substitutions, we'll have Logan Pond get us back going again. Still by a windmill area, kicks it ahead. Too far, rolls out of bounds at about midfield. It'll be a ridge line to throw it in. Still by the Bears defense as Mendoza hits the grass, but there's a whistle. Tripped him up from behind. Bear River keeps the possession. Mendoza with the kick, headed out, and Bear River will throw it in. Getting close to the 10 minute mark here in overtime. Again, we'd like to thank you for joining us. Wilcox to throw it in. Cleared out by Ridgeline. Throw in here by We got whistles and that's gonna be the end of overtime. Looks like we'll set up, switch sides, and we'll set up for a double overtime. So, so double overtime, we'll go say thank you again to our sponsors, and we'll be right back. End your Easter hunt and hop into Tori's Trends to fill your basket with the bunny's favorites. Looking for that last minute Easter dress or maybe just accessories? Be sure to mention Bear River Live and save 10% on your entire purchase, including the new $20 trucker caps. And welcome back. Again, we'd like to thank Tourist Trends for being a great sponsor. You mentioned Bear River Live, you get 10% off. So go in her go in there and tell her a thank you. For being a great sponsor for us and Bear River Athletics. It's gonna be a, another hard one to pick a trend setter here for this one. Double overtime getting started right now. Well, we thank you for joining us kicked ahead by a Goring initially cleared out by Ridgeline now they clear out the rest of the way as it crosses midfield Ridgeline still has it there on the far side, trying to center it up. There's a shot on, but blocked or grabbed by Logan Pond. Fernando.
Nintendo back into the game after all limping off. Rolls out, better to throw it in. Butters gets it into Dean. Not on the same page as this is cleared out by Ridgeline. Another throw in here for Bear River. After they go track the ball down. Butters with another throw in. Gets it into Fernando. There's a back to the far side. Now kicked ahead, headed up, and grabbed by Ridgeline's keeper. Kicked out, last touched by Ridgeline. Also another throw in for the Bears right in front of Ridgeline's bench. And turnover, here's Ridgeline to throw it in. Another throw in here for Ridgeline. headed out by the Bears. Originally to throw it in in front of Bear River's bench this time. Oh, they call it penalty, excuse me. This one headed out by the Bears. And a penalty going against Ridgeline. They're set up quick. Mendoza. Setting it up, gets it through the defense. That goes too far to the right. It was deflected off. Ridge line, so that'll set up a corner kick for the Bears. And we'd like to thank another sponsor, Andy Marchant. You see him right there. He gets close to the action. All your shots, just get, let him know what number you want pitchers of. Substitutions for both teams. Come in and we will have a goal kick. Or a corner kick, excuse me, for Bear River. There it up and headed up high. And hit out. Not the goalie, but we'll have a whistle. So we'll go kick here for Ridgeline. And a hands call against Bear River. Line with it and headed back by Fernando Goring trying to gather it up kicked out we'll have a throw in by the Bears quick one thrown ahead and then kicked out immediately by Ridgeline another quick throw in here by the Bears A lot 
lot of room now. Close as quickly as there's a good Josh Shaw with a good defensive play over there on the far side. The middle mark, yes, or at the hundred middle mark, played in this one, and there's going to be a shot that misses. Gave Dwallaby with the shot, goes high into the left here in double overtime. Got a couple minutes left to go. So they call this one a draw. Here's a kick by Ridgeline to get us going again. Scooped up again by a goalie for Ridgeline. on the far side. Bears still have it in the corner. Kicked out. they will set up a corner kick here for the Bears. Not a lot of time left to go here in overtime number two. Emilio Mendoza makes his way to the corner. Get set up and headed in and cleared out by Ridgeline. So that'll set up another corner kick for the Bears this time on the near side. This one headed out again by a ridge line. Blocked away again by a ridge line. Dean centers it up. And there's going to be a whistle against ridge line. They can't believe it. We'll take a look at the replay real quick. Is that right there? Looks like he tossed him down to the side. Good opportunity here now for the Bears in double overtime. Bears get set up for this. Looks like Mendoza setting up, setting up the kick. Chopped up, up and over the goal. Let's see how much longer the refs want this one to go. As we'll have a goal kick here for Ridgeline. Goal kick is away. There's a good move by Dean. He gets it centered. And kicked out. 
Ridge line to throw it in. They'll do it quick. Not a lot of time left in this one. Taken away by Fernando as whistles are blown. And we're going to have a draw. Bear River controlled in overtime. Just couldn't find, couldn't find the back of the net to put this one away. So your River Hawks and your Bears, and in a tie at one. And again, we'd like to thank our sponsors for making this happen. And one of the sponsors is Tori's Trends, like we've mentioned. She sponsors the Tori's Trend Center of the game. And for the only goal here tonight for the Bears, we're going to give it a Garrett Goring. It was a team effort. But your, but your leading store for the Bears, Garrett Goring, knocks one in to take this to overtime and Good evening, sports fans. ends in a tie. So like I said, next up for the Bears is going to be your top three in Region 12. They'll travel over to Logan and they'll travel over to Skyview. And then we'll finish off senior night here against, against uh, Mountain Crest. Again, we'd like to thank all our sponsors who make this possible. You see them right there on your screen. You know, if you'd like to thank us for making this service possible, you need to go thank the little sponsors you see right there on your screen. So next up for Bear River Live, we will have the doubleheader at Skyview for Bear River Baseball. So if you can't make it over the hill, you can uh, check us out here at BRLivestream.com, KSL.com, or the yeah, Athletics sure. website. Okay, we want to send a big thank you. So again, your final in this one, Bear Rivers 1, Ridgeline 1, and a tie. And we will see you Friday for a doubleheader of baseball. You've been watching Bear River Live.